Howdy y'all, I'm Ron the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and last time we played the hot VR sensation known as the Lindris Effect. But today we're on level 4 of Classic, that is Tension Sheet. Good idea! I don't know what a Tension Sheet is. Some people said this level is in Redux, but I completely forgot about it. I don't know what's going on here, but maybe it'll come back to me. Let's just get right into it. Let's dig into it here and see what we've got. Tension Sheet. Good idea. Five minutes to beat this one. What have we got? Slow loading is what we've got. Okay, we've got a big steel backwards L here. Uh, let's see. This is going to be tough to get around. I think I kind of see it, though. Okay, so... Okay, yes, I think I do remember this one. This one is... Okay, I am inclined to send a climber over. A climber floater, which would be an athlete. It's not marked as an athlete, though. It's just you can't actually tell what you're looking at when you put the cursor. It doesn't say walker or bomber or blocker or whatever in Wings 2. Okay, so hold on. We've got three builders. I can't jump over this. I'm actually missing my jumpers right now. Like, I'm sad that I'm not able to jump. I'm going to have to go the slow way over this. So, yeah, I remember. You dig a little and then not very much, but just enough to run your second bridge into this and have him turn around and then let's see then he will uh let's go ahead and okay this is gonna take some conspiring it looks like okay we're gonna want we're gonna want him to mine down and maybe bash but i think I think the bashing should probably be left to uh, these folks, but not just yet. Let's go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna. Mm, this could get bad actually, because I know the I know the reputation they've got for making it hard for the digger to. The digger might keep going while the basher does its thing. Uh, this could this could get kind of tough actually. Maybe I'll have to actually eat a lemming to get gold here. We'll just see how it happens. We'll just see how it works out so oh i only have one digger um so maybe i should hang on to that for over here i was going to dig a little bit to but i think i can make him turn around just by you know what let's actually go ahead and yeah there we go that'll give us a little ground to work with yeah that's perfect okay so now all right so Miners move much slower than diggers, so once he starts mining out to the left, I think what I'm going to do is, yeah, once he starts mining, I'm going to have the digger do its action. Okay, yeah, he turned around. Very good. So now it's kind of a, now it's kind of a race against time here. All right, so we want a lemming that's going to the right. That might be hard to sort out here. Oh, gosh. Um... Maybe you want to get this going from the beginning. This is, uh... This is not the greatest, but I think I'm... Constant... Oh, that one looked like it was going to the left. Okay, let's just get everybody in the hole, then. This... This could be rough, because I don't have any builders left. Ideally, you would want to... Oh, yeah, they stop way sooner. I only have one basher, though. So... What do I want to do then? Oh, hey, okay. So, like, he starts, but then they have no way of stopping. Okay, yeah, that's just a random limbing walking. That's not the digger at all. That was a mass genocide. That was terrible. Okay, I'm going to have to figure something out here. I'm going to have to figure out... I'm going to have to figure out a better way to do this. Because they start digging doesn't take very long to dig down there at all but he obviously has to come in and maybe I have to do an exploder to stop it for gold I don't like that but that might have to be how it is all right we're just gonna have the digger start oh no one got by that's terrible but he'll turn right back around so there's actually nothing wrong with that so we need to explode at a point we need to make sure the digger is the one who explodes. That might that might be a little tough to pull off, but we'll try it. Let's see what happens. I want to 
I'm gonna try exploding from about... Maybe when he gets down to like this little rivet right here, midway past the steel. That's good. Okay, please be the digger, be the one who who gets it. Okay, good, okay. The, the number is just moving downward, so I think we're fine. Okay. And that's gonna be a stun fall for the rest of them, so it's fine. Okay. And I really liked what this did for us right here. That really made me confident in being able to turn around. So I guess having having kind of shut everybody in safely, we'll go ahead and come back when I get to the end of this basher tunnel and see how that worked out. All right, he's just about to the end there, and I think he's going to stop. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, and then he shepherds the rest of them along home. So yeah, I think we had to probably kill one lemming for that one. Um... We could have also done it so that he just bashes to the left and he digs. That would have been more timing intensive, though. I think it was better to explode the digger. So there we go. That was uh, that was not such a bad one. Still on the still on the not such a bad ones. The classic tribe still feels like kind of a br and yes. Okay, we did get gold for that. So yeah, we had to kill one. Had to be done. Usually don't have to kill one that early in a tribe. Uh, sometimes you don't even have to kill one at all. Uh, that was that was one reason I liked Circus a lot. It was possible to save everybody on every level without without too fancy a trick. The Magnificent Severn. That's a, that's a funny way to pronounce seven, but I feel like it's a reference to something. Let's go ahead and do this one. I noticed that there's no vertical scrolling so far in the classic levels. Maybe that helps them feel more classic, although I wish there were more tile sets. I wish there were a couple of representatives of every single one, like a couple of hell levels, a couple of... Whoa, this is, this is quite the little suspension bridge we got going here. So we have five bashers. One, two, three, four, five. Is it that simple? Oh, it could be. <laughs> um... So somebody somebody passes through here. We have one blocker. I think two, 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 two. So a limbing is gonna need to come across the way and let's see. Oh my, this is this is quite a funky setup. So mine right here, clearly. Clearly, I say. Maybe that's it. Maybe you would want to mine right here. You do have two diggers. Maybe you want to dig bash dig right here. Okay, I think we're going to be killing another lemming. I think we're going to be putting a blocker at the beginning. It's it's a one and one. One blocker. Yeah, one and one. So I think it's kind of a... Kind of an easy deal. But, uh, okay. So... We want to bash, but we don't want to bash through all of these, I don't think. It looks like we need to preserve at least one, at least one lemming, or not one lemming, one basher, I mean. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that, but then we're going to mine here, LOL. Okay, so there we go. That should be a slanted enough tunnel. That should be enough of an angle to get him past here. So that leaves us one basher. What kind of funky business are we going to get up to, though? It looks like... Yeah, okay, that saves them there. So I have a feeling that's good to go. So this is where we want to start climbing. But we don't want to use too much digger stuff. Okay, I think I've got it from here. Okay, I think what we're going to do is he's going to dig, bash, dig... But he needs to not... Once he goes down here, I need to save him from the exit. But... I need to keep him from going in the exit. And you know what would be great for that? A jumper. But... Okay, so... Let's see. I only have one basher left. And... I need to get him going to the left somehow. Is there any way I could save something over here? Save tasks over here. Doesn't look like it. I think you have to bash, 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 bash. And then mine. So I think I do have to save one basher for over here. Because you would want to have it 
so that he comes out to the left, build, hit his head, and then when the rest of them come through, you get a miner going down in here. I th think? Maybe? No, there is no miner left. Uh, I only have two... Oh. I only have two and one. So really, realistically, I can only use one basher here. Or one digger and one basher, which seems like a... Okay, I think I see it. I think I see it. I think we're going to have to go through to... I think we're going to have to go through to... I think I'm going to have to go across the way here. And then... Okay, yeah, that's why he's a floater. Did I make him a floater ever? Yeah, he's a floater. Okay. So, I think he's just going to have to bash through there. All right, get going. This is going to take you a long time. Okay, so then he goes up through there, and then I need to dig out of here. Now, is there any way to get... There's not any way to get back up here, which is a little bit distressing. Okay, this is the part that's going to be troublesome to me. Okay, so I th think from here I turn around, and then I want to build over the exit so that he doesn't go in it. And then I think ideally I would want to actually probably... Huh. Maybe I made the blocker too early over here. But it is nice how he's situated on top of steel. I do like that. The only problem now is... I only have a digger for here. And if everybody... Well... Okay, this is probably still salvageable. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and build. He's going to hit his head, but... Okay, now you come on this way. This is going to take some real fancy work. Okay. I'm going to have to have some straggler dig out... Okay. Someone in the back is going to have to dig for this to work. I got I got this. I got this. Someone in the back is going to have to dig for this to work. I think... Yeah, because you're going to want it so that... They all go out to the right. Because if they go out... To, any go out to the left, that's a disaster. But... Okay, I'm just going to have to kind of get fortunate here, I think. Hope for the best. I'm hoping for the best, and I got the absolute worst because he hit steel. Wow, okay, sure, fine, whatever. I still feel like they don't have a lot of walking room time, though. I feel like there's a way to do this where I wouldn't have to get so lucky. But... No, this feels like... This feels like the way, the efficient way that uses everything and yeah it's gonna get real ugly here at the end i suspect oh no you know what i'm silly i don't have to get lucky at all i can just make the second one the third lemming a blocker and let another one go here so okay i've got two guys two guys just having some good old-fashioned lemming fun here okay so yeah now Okay, yes. Okay, so... And this prevents them from... This prevents them from dying at all. So what's gonna happen... Oh, maybe he'll get out over that. That would be really... Oh, well, that would have been actually really cool if that had happened. That he walked out over the minor tunnel. Because then I could have just made him a floater because I got five of those. Okay, but yeah. So what's happen gonna happen is this one is the climber floater. And then this one does the digging. He'll just mill around in here for a while. And then he'll do the dig when I need him. Alright, he's about to hit his head. So, for maximum efficiency and maximum ensuring that they'll get to the exit, I'm going to start them walking as soon as I start this dig. So, here we go. Explode. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's jam. And pop. So, yeah, that's much better. And, yeah, that ensures that they all get to the... And that is not a minute and a half walk. There's no way that's a 90-second walk. I can already see him from here. Let's just go ahead and fast-forward to victory. 
Okay, okay, okay. When you when you realize that you don't have to be lucky. Whoa, that's quite a weirdly animated little line you got there. It's almost stop motion looking in a way. That was kind of cool. Okay, so there we go. All right, I liked that one. That was a good level. That one, that one took some brain power, but and okay, we're still gold. Yep, fifty eight lemmings, still gold. Boy, classic is gonna get to the arc, and they're gonna be like, man, what happened to you guys? It's like. We got nothing but exploders. It's like, what do you expect? Let's go ahead and try to fit in one more today. I feel good about fitting in one last level. Let's go ahead and do it. Level six is going to be the Starry Threshold. Uh, seems like another long, but one limbing handles the job kind of deal. Let's let's go ahead and do a Starry Threshold. Six minutes. I don't remember this one at all. What is... Or wait, is this level seven? Level six or level seven? I think it's level six. Six. Yeah, this is six. Okay, so we got this. They look like mashers. I don't think they are, though. Anything in the way of traps, actually? Oh, hey, okay. Got some interesting architecture here. Oh, we've got the fire. That's a hell trap. That's not a pillar set trap. That's a, that's a, well, technically it's called the fire set, but come on, we all know it's hell. Who are we kidding over? Okay, so 10 diggers. I feel like we can save everyone provided we don't use too many. But we got a lot of diggers. So I feel like a blocker might be okay to use. But I also feel like maybe we should just tank this. Okay. Maybe we should just try it or not tank it, but try to. That means something else entirely, and I don't know why I said it. Okay, so, dig, how much, how much mining we got to do here? Is this a fatal bash if I just do it right here without building? So how many builders is this going to require if I just, one, maybe two, three to stop a digger, four, I feel like this is fatal if I bash right here, so, five. And then, okay, just five. Okay, then this is really manageable to save everyone, I think. Let's go ahead and try to do it that way. Okay, so how fast do they come out? They come out pretty quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we got plenty of diggers. So I think that's fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so now let's go ahead and pause and stop you. Looks like pausing works a lot better for getting those folks to do what you want. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is definitely going to take two builders. That's going to be a two-builder reach. Okay. So, builder bridges seem really tiny in Lemmings 2, and I don't know why that is. But, okay. I've got two builders left, so we're going to need one here and here. This one is going to be really short, but, okay, you're coming along the way. I think we can afford to fast forward your your walk a little bit there. Okay, so only two bashers, only two miners. Oh, I see why this is maybe kind of problematic. Okay, well, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it from like right here. Maybe like a halfway spot here. I don't think I made him a climber at all, so. Okay, you are good to go. Okay, yes, very nice. Okay, let's see how let's see how low you get. This is why we have so many diggers, I would presume. Because we want to get down to certain spots. I'm going to go ahead and dig. And then I'm going to go... When do I want to mine? Probably, like, right here? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, two bashers, one for here, one for here. Okay, this is a pretty simple level, actually. I, I like the cut of this level's gym. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't think he would get all the way in that little nook. That's interesting. Okay, they're very good, though. All right, and I can dig all the way to the bottom on this one, I think. So let's go ahead and get you going. Oh, boy, yeah. The time is, the time is just getting whittled away, though. I need to probably send them sooner rather than later. If I build over that, they, no, they can't step over that. So I'm going to go ahead and start, I'm going to go ahead and start sending them. 
Some are going to get out this little... Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow. I think that basically assured everyone went out to the right. So, really, it was only necessary to say... Yeah. It was only necessary to save that one with the bridges. Nice. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Let's get them all milling around in the final area. So, they don't have to make this big walk all at once. And I think once you get over here... Okay, yeah, that seals that up in case they do walk over it, which is nice, but I think this is... I, oh, yeah, that's way taller than them. Very good. Okay, so... One... Even just one pixel ought to do this. Oh... Oh, that was a little... I was a little close for comfort there. Okay, hopefully it doesn't shift up on me, even one pixel. I, you, I got that really close. That is a, that is a fine cut right there. Hey there, fire trap. How's it going? Well, I think we can call that one solved. That one was pretty simple, actually. Um, all right, classic tribe, still going pretty well. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. He's digging it horizontally. And I think, yeah, we're pretty much done. I like the architecture in this level. This level is really pretty. I mean, it's easy. There are a lot of really pretty easy levels. In fact, that kind of seems to be the case. Like, once a level is easy and once you've got the path worked out, it seems like they really liked filling out the rest of the details with just nice-looking architecture. Which, why wouldn't you? You'd want to make your game look as pretty as possible. And one more, or nine more. They looked like one, but they were actually nine. 58 lemmings saved, a gold standard, another gold standard level. Hooray, all right. Yeah, I remember Classic being harder than this, but maybe it's just because of the way I've been playing through the rest of the game with all these wild and wacky jobs. Maybe now getting back to basics is somehow makes things way easier. I did not expect that, and that's interesting. 